Ah, take a look at this sketch. Who drew that, your six-year-old daughter? No wonder sales are plummeting. No, ma'am, I did. I didn't get a lot of time to work on it. That's why it's not as detailed as it could be. Excuses, excuses. In her defense, the turnaround time that you gave us was less than eight hours. Oh, you want to know what I think of turnaround time, Mr. Jackson? Now the rest of you better shape it up or your designs are next. And when the CEO gets here, I want you all to be on it. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Shayna. All right. Let's just make this quick. The numbers from last quarter are not looking good. Top line revenue dropped to 700K, which is an all time low for us. Expenses were quite high due to inflation, and we spent 750K, which leaves us with our first time ever losing money. Are we going to be okay? If I'm being transparent, we're in trouble, Angelique. I don't even know if we have enough to make rent at the end of the month. It's gonna take a real miracle to turn things around. Don't worry, Shana. We're on it. I've already been talking to the team about their performance and ramping up creativity, right? So we're gonna have some great new designs for you at the next meeting. Thank you, Elise. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've all worked so hard to build this clothing line and it would break my heart to, um, I'm just gonna be in my office if anyone needs me. It's all your guys' fault. You know that, right? Designs have been trash lately. I better see some major improvements on my desk tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning? It's already the end of the day. Oh, you know what? You're right. Do I look like I care, Gabe? You're all dismissed. Okay. So, how was it today? Did Elise calm down yet? No, if anything, she's worse. To be up all night trying to think of new designs. This could work for Paula and George's wedding, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's your color. Do you want to get it? It's not my size. Oh, excuse me. Is this the biggest size you have in this dress? Mm, unfortunately, yes. Everything we have is out on the floor. Do you have anything that anyone who wears a bigger size could wear? Uh, the biggest size we carry is an extra large. It's frustrating. Actually, that's not true. We do have a rack with bigger sizes over there. Oh. These look a little old. Yeah, they've been there for a while. There just really isn't much of a selection for women of our size. I wish they did. <laughs> I can't even shop here. I'm sorry. I see. Thanks. Hey, don't stress. We'll just go someplace else. Okay, this is the third place we've gone to today. No one carries clothes for plus size women. I just wish designers thought about us more. Ugh. Come on, let's go home. <laughs> no, no, no. Did you not hear anything I said last meeting? I'm sorry, I thought that the intricacies of the patterns were really unique. Unique? Oh, I can think of another word that begins with the letter U to describe that. Angelique, please tell me you have something good. Um, yes? <sighs> Seriously, get this out of my sight before I have an aneurysm. Out of all of you, not one person, not a single soul has one good idea? Do you not find that troubling? Do you want us to answer? No! I do not want you to answer that question. It was a rhetorical one. I have something. Gabe, what is it? This better be good. Okay, well, um, I know that we uh, have never done this before, but I put together some sketches for a plus size clothing line. Now, these are rough, but I think a line like this has a lot of potential. Is this a joke? <laughs> oh my God, plus size clothes? I don't see what's funny about that. We are high fashion. We have a certain image to uphold. Well, why can't that image include plus size women? You pitching that to me is an insult. I'm gonna get this. Thanks again for another disappointing meeting. I 
think your idea is brilliant. Really? Yes. I'm so sick of going to stores where there's no plus size section. And if there is, all of the dresses look like burlap sacks. Over it. My wife feels the same way. Well, then I need to call her and we need to discuss it over wine. <laughs> but seriously, Gabe, you need to make some samples for Shayna. You heard what Elise said, it's a no-go. <sighs> Please, Elise says a lot of things. Doesn't mean we have to listen to her. Your idea could be exactly what this company needs to get us out of this hole we're in. I don't know. Come on, we're doing it. I will even help you. This is looking fabulous. How are those sleeves coming? Good, just finished trimming the fabric, and now I will... So, are you sure this is a good idea? If you ask me that one more time, I will go a lease on you. What was that? I said fleece. And what is all this? We're just making a dress sample from my sketches. My plus size sketches. You mean the ones I said I never wanted to see again? Well, technically you didn't say that. You said we're in high fashion. I don't recall asking you, Angelique. And really, making dresses this size, do you know how much fabric of ours you are wasting? I had to take it out of your paycheck. This fabric is from the scraps pile, and I realize that money is tight, but what we're doing is very important. I truly believe that everybody should be celebrated, not just skinny body. Oh, God. If I can get one sample together to show Shayna. Oh, no, you are not wasting Shayna's time with all this. I understand that she is busy, but if I can just show her this design, then she'll understand that there is a need in the market for this size. My wife can attest to that. So can I. No, there is no need for clothing this size. If anything, plus size people need to learn how to lose weight in order to fit into regular size clothes. Excuse me? You heard me. Now clean this all up before Shayna sees it. Before Shayna sees what? Who made this? I did. I tried to tell him that he's wasting fabric and that there's no market for plus size. I mean, this is... <laughs> Interesting. Really? Shayna, you can't seriously be considering this. Why not? Nothing else seems to be working. Maybe it's time we tried something new. When Gabe first pitched this idea, I instantly loved it. Not only could it change the way high-end fashion is perceived, but it could open up a whole new customer base for us. Who knows? This could be the change that we need to turn things around or the final nail in the coffin for us all. I'm sorry, Shayna, but really? Let's give it a shot. Gabe, can you get one collection ready? We can test it out in one of our stores, and if it doesn't work, we'll discontinue it. But if it does, we'll expand. Yes. Is it all right if Angelique works with me? Of course, but I need you to get the samples to production ASAP. Of course, we'll get started right away. I don't mean to overstep here, but I think you're making a big mistake. Huge. At this point, what do we have to lose? Gabe, can't wait to see the final product. Shayna, really? With Shayna's blessing, Gabe and Angelique are excited to create their new collection. They start working right away in all the different designs. They even enlist the help of Gabe's wife who gladly supports them. After a couple weeks, Gabe and Angelique pitch their ideas to Shayna. It doesn't take long for her to green light their ideas and move them into the next stage. Gabe and Angelique make samples to show their manufacturer. The manufacturer gets everything needed to move everything into production. A few months later, Shayna places the collection inside one of the stores and they wait to see how it goes. We've been waiting here forever. Just give it a little more time. How much longer? I mean, we can't just stand Ooh, around here. A customer. Hello. Hi. Mm. It's okay, Gabe. It's just the first day. 
Maybe more people will come when they find out about the collection. <laughs> We have billboards of this collection everywhere. I did a full marketing campaign. It's just not selling. Maybe she's right. Uh, Maybe I was wrong. Hmm. I hope this is a big learning lesson for you. The reality is plus size dresses just don't appeal to anyone. Oh, look, look, look. Look at these dresses. I know. And they're our size. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys finally have a plus size collection. Yeah, and it's actually super cute for once. <laughs> well, if you like the designs, today is your lucky day because the CEO is here. This is Shana Woods. Hi. Oh, wow, it's so nice to meet you. Thank you so much for making this collection. You know, we always feel invisible in this industry. Oh, well, thank you so much, but I can't take all of the credit. Actually, our designer is here. Meet Gabe. Wow. Well, what inspired you to do this? Well, you know, my wife is always having such a hard time to finding clothes in her size that are actually fashionable. And since I'm a designer, I thought that I could do something about that. Well, you have a customer for life now. Sure do. And I'm telling all my friends. Great. We love to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Bye. I knew they would come. I think we're onto something here. Oh. <laughs> we'll see. This could just be a fluke. I mean, we need to sell more than just two dresses. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Which is why I'm thinking about expanding the collection. Come on, let's walk and talk. Mm, these all look great, Gabe. This new plus-size prom dress collection is gonna be a big hit. All thanks to our new head of design. I appreciate that, but it's definitely been a team effort. Thank you for all your hard work. Keep it up. So, looking at a collection here, I think okay. maybe we could just go ahead. Hey, everything okay, Elise? Oh, yeah. I wasn't sure if you guys saw our new write-up in People Magazine, but they did a whole story on plus-size models. I haven't seen that yet, but I will look. <laughs> There's been so much press lately, it's hard to keep up. Yes, I know, Gabe. You were right. All bodies should be celebrated, not just skinny bodies. Thank you for helping me see that. You working on some designs? This? Oh no, this is just, it's nothing. May I see it? Mm -hmm. Right. At least, are you kidding me? This is some sort of a joke? What? Gotcha! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> At least, this is really some excellent work. So I have a dream to start a business where I take used clothes, make them cute, and then sell them. Do not tell me that you shop at the thrift store. It's for me to sell. No one's gonna wanna buy your used trash. You do what you love, money will always follow.